YouTube Shogun Shinobi here with a review of the SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Birth from Kamen Rider O's. Um, so taking a look, quick look at the packaging, uh, follows pretty much in queue with all of the other O's releases, uh, except this time done in a black instead of white. We feature the Birth toy with the lit up eyes here. Um, at the back of a cell metal right here. There you go. Right there, and instead of the three uh, rimmed core metal colors, we have three of the gashapon balls to uh, to mimic bursts, chest balls and stuff. So, yeah, fun times. Uh, lettering is done in a silver chrome, which is pretty nice. Coming right of birth. White over here, and then the typical um, pictures on the back. So... There's that up there too. So taking a look at Berth, uh, he definitely has some flaws, but he isn't terrible. Uh, he looks pretty cool. Um, I'll, I'll give him that. My major gripe with the figure is his head. Uh, while his head sculpted really good and even has this uh, clear plastic section up here for his brain-like thing with the gashapon balls, his eyes are just flat as hell hell. Um, whereas in the show they have a nice glossy sheen to it because it's his visor, this is just the same flat black plastic as the back of his helmet. So it just, it looks very, very bland. If they just had this with a, with a, not a metallic, a uh, glossy coating or even just a thin uh, clear plastic, it would look a lot better than it does. Uh, fortunately, he does come with an alternate head, and I'll show that later. His body is really good. I mean, the rest of the figure is fantastic. Um, with the with the Gashapon balls are all clear plastic, with the teal and the the white, and just all around really really nice. Uh, the, his collar has a bit of an issue here. Uh, this should be gold all the way around, I believe. Maybe not, but. Regardless, here's his back. Sides. And his legs. His feet are the old die-cast feet. So fans of that rejoice. Personally, I would rather him have the ball joints seen on Shadow Moon and New Deno. But speaking of New Deno, he's got a very long neck. Uh, he's pretty much got the same neck that New Deno had. It's extraordinarily long, and it looks kind of weird proportion-wise. But um, it does have a lot of motion that I just totally did off-screen. So as you can see, it's got a lot of motion because it adds the, the ball joint down there and then the ball joint up there. So you have a lot of motion in the neck that you don't normally get, particularly because of all the weird collars and stuff. But... Tons of motion in the neck due to it being a little bit on the longer side. So if you look past that, it does add a little bit to the figure. Uh, it, he doesn't have matte finish or anything, sadly, but uh, it is a nice flat black, so there's no major worries there. Tramp stamp information there. And uh, shoulder pads are pretty much just the typical shoulder pads. And uh, full, full range of motion. Good times. So he does come with a, a fair amount of accessories. not Nothing too wild or exciting. As I said, he does come with an alternate head. One that I do prefer. Uh, mostly just because it adds a little bit of dimension. Again, I would have preferred if it had a nice glossy finish to it. But um, the paint has a little bit of gloss to it. So it's definitely better than that. And I think this head all around looks better. Uh, now to... Pop off the head, you just pull, and then usually that results in the neck going with it, just because that ball joint's connected weaker. So, kind of pop that off. I always feel like I'm breaking this. I hate it. And then, just snap that in. This will be a lot harder than it looks. In fact, it'll probably be a cut to me actually doing it right now. Ta-da! See? Power of editing. And then just pop that back into the the socket right there. Uh, that's not nothing too bad. Now, now as you can see, it adds a whole lot to his character. I, I really like that head myself. 
So, um, hands, he's got two birth buster holding hands. And two splayed opened relaxed hands. And obviously it comes with the birth buster. Uh, here is the default mode. As you can see, lots of detail. A uh, clear chamber right there. Really, really cool. And uh, what what happens here is this just pops off. It's just on a peg. So you can peg it in here for cell burst. You can peg it up here. Let's go like that. Pretend he's reloading. Or you can just have it in the the default down here position, which is the one I prefer. So uh, let's go ahead and get him in a, a pose of some sort here. Let's hold the birth buster with his right hand and relax it up with his left hand. And just plug this in. Uh, he doesn't hold it as tight as I would like. But it's nothing uh, horrendously loose or anything like that. And then we'll just have him grip the bottom here. Which is possible if you splay open the hands a little bit more. So, um, overall, I really like him. He's He doesn't really have any loose joint problems. His hips are a tiny bit loose, but uh, it's not really too big of a deal compared to, particularly compared to like Tatoba and stuff. Um, I'm not going to say he's the best of the uh, O's figure arts. I think that currently goes to Segozo and Taja Dole. My, Taja Dole myself. Taja Dole. I'm not going to say it's the best of the O releases. I think that goes to Segozo and uh, Taja Dole myself. But, uh, I really like him. I love Birth. I love his design. I think he's a fantastic character. Um, everyone in the suit, really. Except for Nobunaga, but uh, he doesn't count. And, uh, I just, I really like it. He's a great figure art. The paint's fantastic. The sculpt's pretty accurate. And outside of the extremely long neck, I think they did a fantastic job on it. So if you like Birth, uh, definitely recommend it. So uh, you can check out our written review at writersandrambles.com, bringing the latest token news in the craziest way possible. And of course, you can uh, discuss figure arts, O's, birth, anything else. Add to the RAM boards at writersandrambles.com slash forums. So take care and have a great one.